This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More about them later. Well, if it isn't Tamagotchi, her new favorite pet. Yes! So what's that make me? Fish sticks? Oh, are you hungry? Oh, no, 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 no. By all means, feed it. Play to your heart's content. Being born in the early 90s, I was there to witness the phenomenon of Tamagotchi. I fondly remember getting mine in 1997 for Sinterklaas, a local Dutch celebration with similarities to Christmas. I still have quite a few Tamagotchis that I bought on flea markets way later, some even in the original packaging. For our adventure of today, we're using the 2017 remake Tamagotchi. Most people seem to like this toy, although... Mamma mia! Even today, stores are filled with Tamagotchi stuff. I mean, here at my local game shop, there's Toy Story, Star Wars Tamagotchis, wow. So for those of you who don't know how a Tamagotchi works, it's basically a virtual pet which you need to take care of. It can poop, it can get sick, it needs food, you need to play with it, you need to turn the lights off when it goes to sleep every night. And all of this is done by using just three buttons. When you start out, the Tamagotchi is an egg. Then it becomes a baby, a child, a teenager, and finally, an adult. And which adult character you get depends on how well you take care of your Tamagotchi. This one has good health, a long life and no complaints, while this one is selfish and needs a lot of care. Today we're gonna build a machine that automatically takes perfect care of this Tamagotchi. First, some ground rules. We're not opening the Tamagotchi up and soldering wires into it. We're not hacking into the screen feed or any of that. No, we shall not harm the Tamagotchi. Well, I did read on several sources that you can kill a Tamagotchi by feeding it too many snacks. Hmm. For pressing the buttons, I chose to use some servos and I'm strapping these servos and the Tamagotchi into a block. And as usual, it takes a few tries to get things right. You can see here the buttons are never going to get pressed like this. I tried to save some plastic by removing unused parts of the square, but it turns out this takes just as much plastic because now you have more outer walls. But it does look really cool and futuristic. Through the editing magic of montage, this rebuild went super fast. This shows us the principle works. Then I attach the computer to the servos, in this case a Raspberry Pi, and I let the computer press the buttons. I also started working on the user interface. I got myself a camera and some light, and then I noticed the light was a bit too direct, so I 3D printed a diffuser to get more soft lighting. And lighting has been one of the hardest parts of this whole project. I was dealing with reflections, I was dealing with LCD ghosting, I was dealing with ambient light changes. One thing I learned about computer vision is that a controlled environment is very nice to have. With the camera in place, I built a little test script to detect sprites on the Tamagotchi screen. And this worked, I can detect this angel on the screen. For me, this is proof of concept, so we can move on to make a full enclosure for the Tamagotchi. This was my sketch, so to say, my original idea, and I flashed it out into this design. <laughs> when I started 3D printing, there was a knot in the filament, so the spool came down mid-print. The filament guide broke, there were deep scratches in the print bed, and the print had a weird offset in the middle. Lesson learned, never tangle your filament. Well, hi. Don't mind me, I'm just being printed. And in case you want to replicate this project, but you don't own a 3D printer, PCBWay now also offers a 3D printing service. You upload the file or files that you want to have printed, select your material and color and other options such as assembly or threaded inserts. Then you hit submit request and you will get your parts printed for you. Thanks again for sponsoring this video, PCBWay. Ah. Ugh, I'm not feeling so well. Ah. <laughs> 
So we have a few issues. The camera isn't really facing the Tamagotchi enough. The bottom frame is too small to keep all the wires inside. And I'll be needing a few extra screws here. Luckily, these issues are simple to fix. After 3D printing new parts, I can finish the assembly. Oh yeah! Now we can use our camera to take a picture of the screen and look in that picture for sprites that we recognize, like the type of character. So our vision application looks for this sprite on this screen. And since we know the Tamagotchi only grows in one direction, we only need to check certain characters that the Tamagotchi can transform into. We can do the same checks for the other symbols that can appear on the screen. In this example, the Tamagotchi is sick and it's shown by the skull icon on the screen. Our vision application sees the skull on the screen, so it selects the appropriate menu to heal the Tamagotchi and selects the option and now the Tamagotchi is getting healed. It doesn't like it. To show and control what is going on, I built a user interface for the touchscreen. Making all the software for this project was a lot of work. But in the end I got it done and now we're ready for a duration test. I know I said that we shouldn't hurt the Tamagotchi, but I'm not gonna wait two weeks until this thing dies of natural causes. So I'm sorry little guy. Okay, let's find the reset pin. Goodbye my friend. <laughs> okay, that's done. So now we can start our automatic program. The vision script starts running and scanning for things on the screen. It actually detected the egg on the screen, as you can see in the top right. And it put a message in the log. So after we detect an egg, we wait five minutes and then we're sure we have a baby on our hands. Oh, there it is right now. Every 10 minutes our program opens a menu which shows us how the Tamagotchi is doing. So it's showing how old the Tamagotchi is and its weight, how disciplined it is, how hungry it is and how happy it is. And after that we hit the discipline button. We discipline the Tamagotchi every 10 minutes preemptively. We're not sure if it has misbehaved or not. It's very hard to actually determine this with vision. So we just punish it every 10 minutes. Yes. After we're done with punishing, we're checking the screenshots that we just made and put on the screen. And if we find any empty hearts for the happiness or for the hungriness, we feed the Tamagotchi or play with it. As you can see, the counter for feeding and playing has gone up. So we're actually counting how much care we take of the Tamagotchi. After we're done taking care, we do all the same stuff again until the Tamagotchi doesn't need any care anymore. We check is the clock selected on accident or is the Tamagotchi an angel? Did it evolve into a different character? Is there poop on the screen? Is it sick? Is it sleeping? After checking everything again, it turns out the Tamagotchi is completely happy and satisfied. So let's come back in 10 minutes. The Tamagotchi pooped! No fear, our machine will clean it up. Ah, it's nice not to have to get my hands dirty. When the Tamagotchi is sleeping, the machine automatically turns off the light. Don't worry, daddy's watching over you. So this Tamagotchi is in good hands. I came back a few days later and the Tamagotchi is now a child. I even made it so that I can check upon the Tamagotchi from my phone. Really convenient. The servo motors on this machine are quite loud, so I've actually moved the machine around my house quite a bit. But we now have a teenager on our hands. Good food is important for the growth of a healthy Tamagotchi. Here comes the airplane! So it's been six days since we started this experiment and I saw from my phone that the Tamagotchi transformed into an adult. Let's take a look. Oh, we got the nicest one. Awesome. It's exactly the one that we aimed for. The perfect care one. And some of you are sick. You will probably watch this whole video just waiting for me to kill the Tamagotchi with snacks. Kill it with snacks, huh? Well, according to several sources, you should be able to kill a Tamagotchi if you feed it enough snacks in a short time span. I whipped up some code and let's get to testing. All we need to do is hit the murder button. Oh 
Eat. Eat. <laughs> I gave it another 30 minutes and then I called it. This is enough. We'll stop the experiment and see if the Tamagotchi drops dead in a few minutes. Well, it's six hours later and this doesn't seem like a dead Tamagotchi. So this myth is totally busted. And that's it for this month. Thanks so much for going along with me on this making adventure. If you want to help the channel out, subscribe now. And if you're into toys, I built the most satisfying toy in the whole world. Check out the build video right here.